Tim Henderson today, we talked to Tim Henderson five years ago. Do you have any advice for that guy? I mean, is this the way you thought it would work out that it worked out? I'll just tell him to stick with it. And, um, you know, just no matter how low you get, just stay positive and keep on working hard and good things will happen. How much have two shots changed your life? A lot. I'm just, I'm known by that now. It's, it's changed my name from Tim to Wichita, so. What, do you, how close are you having your degree and what do you see yourself doing in your life? Um, I will graduate on time and, uh, you know, my major's in sports administration. So it could be athletic director or coaching, and um, there's also other stuff that I'm looking into as well. What do you think would have changed, Coach? Um, I think he's added a couple more gray hairs to his head, that's for sure. <laughs> but, um, you know, he's just – Russ is going to go down as one of the Louisville greats, and um, just to be playing with him and a part of this has just been amazing. And, you know, I think Coach loves him completely, and it really – you know, without Russ, we wouldn't probably go to two Final Fours in the championship. Tim, when you all when you all came in, you being a walk on, Russ being not highly regarded, there wasn't. Like Russ said there wasn't a lot of hype, but you guys go out yeah. as the winningest class. What's that mean for you guys in this? Um, game? just kind of like you know, we're kind of the underdog group, and you saw how we came. You know, we came up from pretty much you know two star to walk on to you know. Gorgie and Elisha, just that whole freshman group. I know they're not here, but they're still a big part of what we started and um, we just kept the ball rolling and kept, you know, having that strong mentality so that really helped us. Yeah, that's just um that's amazing thing just to be a part of. You know, going back to all the years at Louisville and I've been watching and uh, being a fan of, you know, Terrence Williams, Taekwon Dean, and and to be a part of the senior class with the most wins or the winning, the winningest history or whatever, that's just, that's unbelievable to be a part of. And a national championship and a Final Four, it's just, it's incredible. You guys seem very close to the team. How hard will that make it to, to go through the ceremony tomorrow? Well, it's going to be tough. Uh, I'm definitely, I'm not looking forward to it. I want to stay here as long as possible. You know, these guys become like brothers to me. And so it's uh, it's going to be definitely a tough thing to go through. Could you ever, I mean, think back when you first found out the opportunity was there to walk on, to, <laughs> what, to be where you are now? Did you ever yeah. Dream? Was it was it the dream? It was. It was you know a dream my whole life. I always pretended I was one of the players growing up, shooting the ball, you know, outside in the outside my house and the goal. And um, you know, just when it when the opportunity came around. I stayed here all the time trying to tell, convince Coach P to take me and uh, so they invited me to open gyms and I just remember going through that whole process of not knowing whether I was going to make the team nonetheless be a national championship. So. How much did that, that Final Four last year you just really grasp why you were here? I mean just the, the whole experience and what your role is just to be ready for that kind of moment. Yeah, I mean that's kind of been my role the whole time is just kind of, you know, sitting back and, you know, I'm watching all these great players come in and, you know, you can't get down about that. You just got to be ready and coach isn't afraid to throw you in. So it was just having the mentality of being ready at any second, any moment to know that you could be thrown in. I remember my freshman year, he threw me in versus Kentucky, and which I was not expecting at all. So he's not afraid to throw you in in the middle of the fire. So. It was just kind of having that mental readiness of, you know, you never know what's going to happen. And um, it's, it's really made me a lot tougher, I feel like, and that I'm, I'm ready for anything. One more for Tim. Tim, being a kid growing up here, what are the chances you'll ever have a prize possession that you care about in that championship ring? I don't know. I mean, that, that championship ring is, means a whole lot to me and my family. And, um, and I'm just, I'm going to hold on that to forever. And, I don't know, you know, that's just something special. Thanks, Tim. Thank you. All right, we have.